When it comes to food, does size really matter? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning and welcome back to our week of celebrating 10 years of GMN. Yeah, the internet, nay the world, yeah. loves novelty sized food, whether it's a giant gummy bear or a mini muffin, but does dramatic size alteration really make the experience of eating these foods any better? And would we rather be the kids in Honey I Shrunk the Kids or Honey I Blew Up the Kid? <laughs> it's time for <laughs> Tiny Foods Big versus Big Foods Tiny. And we're talking small like Thumbelina's Heine. We recently posted a series of matchups. We pitted typically bite-sized small food mm -hmm. made into big food against meal-sized food made into bite-sized food and you voted on which one you thought we would like better. You gotta be following us on Facebook and Instagram to vote so you can take part in this. Mm -hmm. The Mythical Kitcheneers pushed the limits of food science today and now it's time for us to see how well you know what we're gonna like. Now you big little beasties lost last time, so today you get to try your little big luck again, mm -hmm. and you'll get a point for each round that the majority of you guessed correctly, and if you get two or more points, we're gonna stroke your egos in Good Mythical More, but if you don't, we're gonna post a picture of a tiny loser Tic Tac on Instagram, and you must post, I'm a tiny little big loser, in the comment section, yep. that's the law. In a high voice like that, you have to figure out how to type that. All right, let's get to size swapping. <laughs> All right, first up, we've got Tiny Little Debbie Swiss Rolls up against Big Lucky Charms. You ready for this? Oh, yeah. I said Big Lucky Charms. <laughs> Look at that, it's so big the leprechaun can't even barely see. Can you freaking believe this? Ridiculous size. This is absolutely huge. <laughs> yeah, frosted toasted oat cereal with marshmallow. I think there's one oat cereal and one marshmallow, but we'll have to find out. Um, the issue is is that I don't see any uh, tiny Swiss rolls anywhere. No. There's no packaging for it. You know what? Oh, maybe if there is a giant Deborah, there's a tiny giant Deborah too who can help us. Let's find out. Tiny, tiny giant, giant Deborah, Deborah, hear our call. We are big, but you are small. We hunger for your chocolate treat. Swiss rolls are all we want to eat. We pledge our loyalty for all you do. Tiny Giant Deborah, please come through. Hey, guys, hey, it's me, it's me. <gasps> it worked. Hello. It's Tiny Giant Deborah. Hey. Giant, giant rat or regu regular rat? It's hard to tell from here. I, I'm regular. I'm just regular, but I oh, am very big. Rat. Hi, regular Link. It's so nice to see you. You summoned me and I'm here, and I brought my tiny Swiss rolls for you. We see that. We're gonna be eating those in a second. Thank you. You're very welcome. I hope you enjoy them. Also, don't let Giant Deborah know that you did my chant, because she gets a little ee oh. when we like, oh, share Oh, she gets stuff. a little ee. Okay. Yeah. And I'm, I, I go by Deb, too, not Deborah. Deborah is, is her name, and also like my dad calls me Deborah. Deb, Deb is what I prefer. Oh, okay, well, okay. okay tiny giant Deb. Deb, got it. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay, um, I must be going. Do you need anything else? I have a ride. Um, a termite's picking me up in like five minutes. No, we're good, I think. Thank you. Okay, okay, bye. Thanks, tiny giant Deb. Does that mean we have termites on the desk? Open uh, that thing up. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, Let that puppy crawl out. Look at it. Just little oh. tiny little cake oh rolls. Oh my goodness. First of all, this seems like a good idea. Kind of seems like a turd to me. Oh man, it's hard. it might be hard to tell, but there is actually a perfect little swirl cross section there. Mm hmm. Oh. And of course, it's the same taste that you would expect from a normal Swiss cake roll. Just smaller. Just smaller. So it's two bites, or I would really say you could down it all in one. You, you think you can get the whole thing in your mouth? I think I could. <laughs> Yeah, probably. Yeah. You know what, I bet you I could eat this in one <laughs> in one bite. I but, bet you could too. That's kind of the appeal of it. Yeah, no, I think this would sell, man. That, I mean, it's, it's just a brilliant little experience. But what about your big lucky charms over here? Well, I'm a little you concerned. you hand me that bowl, because we, I mean. Okay, well yeah. I can't, uh, you, I can't really see. Is that, is that gonna work? Let's get inside here. Okay. Okay, I see them. 
Oh my goodness. Um, should I, maybe I should make the milk. This is opposite of how you would normally do it, but it's still kind of my thing. Okay, so here's here's one of the, that's the cereal part. Okay. Is it? Yeah, and then we got. Looks like an ichthus. And then we've got uh, the marshmallow. <laughs> okay, that's so it. Kind of a, I guess you would just dunk it and bite it and then switch it. This is so light. Okay. Feel how light that is. Mm, oh, oh, oh no! <laughs> Pieces for everybody now. Marshmallow is good, man. Huh, I actually didn't get any marshmallow. Uh, mm. I don't know about the huge cereal. Kind of makes me it feel like ruins, I'm eating a big dog bone. It kind of ruins the the convenience Milk factor. Bone. I mean, these little Swiss cake rolls, that's something anybody can get into. This is thoroughly impressive, uh, extremely cumbersome. So the bite-sized Swiss rolls has to be. You got the golden tug? Yeah, that's pretty easy. Has actually. to be our choice. Well, I know that's upside down. Let's, let's give it to him right. Yeah. All right, did you guys predict what we just did? 55% of the mythical beasts thought you would like the Big Lucky Charm. Oh, really? Better. No, guys. No, it's just. Too I mean, big. I didn't hate it, but it's just so much cereal in one bite, or whatever that was. <laughs> yeah. Kudos to our team for pulling all of this together. Yeah. Now that we've had a taste of big and little breakfast, it's time for something from the drive-through menu. We've got big jalapeno poppers or versus popper. tiny big. Matt. Oh, look at the little tiny Big Mac. Now, unlike the last round, these are both still within sort of like the realm of normalcy. The realm of it. Uh, this is essentially slider size, and that's an actual pepper. I think a, maybe a poblano, is that? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so we, we had to go outside of the jalapeno family, but we got to the poblano family. You, what, what do you want to start with? I want to start with this. This feels like a really good idea. And it looks so cute. Can you imagine this at like somebody's like somebody's wedding? Yes. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, oh, did you see at the, Ronald's wedding? Oh, they have the they've got the little Big Macs. Can you imagine going to oh. Ronald McDonald's wedding? How <laughs> freaky that would be. <laughs> Grimace just sitting over there. Grimace would officiate. Now, I I'm having a flashback to something. There were these burgers. There were two in a thing like this. Am I crazy or did this actually exist? You mean like Crystal? I think it was at McDonald's. They had like crystal sized burgers. I don't remember that. I don't know what it is. Mm hmm. Much easier to bite into. That's the flavor profile of a Big Mac. Wow. The proportions and everything. Mm hmm. Special sauce. Again, that's fun. That's it for anybody's wedding. Double little, double little Big Mac. I, I would line up at a long drive through for that. Uh, now we need to do a cross section. You want to just buy? Oh, okay. Well, I got this right here. Yeah. So you just want me to no. take it from you? Give it a little saw action. Look at that. Oh my goodness! Now that is something. Now I think we can just take it and just eat it straight up. It's about the same size as a little Big Mac at this point. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's pretty good looking. Oh man. That's really good. This is my kind of food right here, though. Nailed it. In terms of taste, for both of these, it's absolutely amazing. But at this scale, things are getting strange. I think you're losing something that you get in a regular size jalapeno pop. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And we, I think we gained a little something Gaining from a little something. Big Mac because you, you can, can eat more of them. You can wrap your mind around it. I don't. Oh, you had it. I had it. So yeah. We're in total agreement. Yeah, these are a next level. This is fabulous, but way over the top. Did you predict this? 55% of the mythical Again. beasts thought that you would like the tiny Big Mac yeah. better. Yeah, okay, there right. you go. You're right. I don't now know you've evened it out. 45% of y'all were All thinking, right. but <laughs> okay. As you can see, we can't. No, we don't need blindfolds for this round. Yep, that's true, but to prove a point, I wanted to do it. Oh, to okay. celebrate, 10 years of GMM. We've posted a really fun and nostalgic mini doc series over on the Mythical Society 
and we know that you're gonna love it. It's called Good Mythical Origins, mm -hmm. and it explores how some of our most notable and long-running bits made their way into good mythical canon. Yeah, there's one on the T word, that's a Japanese city. Uh, there's one on Rhett's nicknames in high school. There's one on the evolution of the international darts game over the years, and there's one on the genesis of the catchphrase, as you can see, we can't. Sign up for first, second, or third degree today to binge watch all episodes of Good Mythical Origins, and you know what? At the end of today's episode, we're gonna show you a little peek of the one of the episodes right here. How does that sound? Oh, that sounds good. Okay, for this final round, and this is what it all comes down to for you, um, we're gonna get a little less snacky, we're gonna get a lot more fancy. We have got tiny wedding cake, oh, with its own little tiny knife, mm -hmm. versus big shrimp cocktail. Oh my goodness. Uh, uh, that's some big shrimp, bro. It looks like a boomerang. <laughs> That has been submerged in cocktail sauce. Do you want to go with the cocktail first before yeah, you finish it up yeah. with dessert? Nicole, I guess this is just. It's just big shrimp. You found some big shrimp. shrimp just say you found some big shrimp. This well, is... I made like a shrimp paste and then I wrapped it in Vietnamese rice paper rolls. Yeah, you found a big shrimp. Yeah, also found a big shrimp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and um, you just had you just put garnished it with the whole lemon. Because... Can, I, can I have? Can I have? Can I have a bite? <laughs> Why am I feeding you so much this episode? Oh, I'll feed myself. Because we're in a celebration. I want to do it. We're in a celebratory mood, I guess it. No, what, no, why are you gonna turn it? <laughs> if you turn it that way, I'm just gonna turn that way. Oh. <laughs> you didn't have to grunt so no. much. Mm. Okay. I mean, there is some appeal to this because. Appeal? You, you get one shrimp. Yeah. <laughs> you get one little shrimp and you just want 10 more. It's like, why not just you're get shrimp, all that in one bite? I'm a, I'm a shrimp man. That's some, that's some straight up shrimp meat, y'all. I mean, the rice paper makes it a little difficult. But it's so appetizing looking. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I, I, I can't say I really enjoyed that. Um, yeah, I. But I'm I mean, there's very entertained by it. Just holding the tail is a lot different than just holding this whole honking thing and continuing to, well, to, to munch on it. Let me, uh, let me cut you a piece of cake. It tastes good, though. Thank you. Oh. But I just don't want to taste it as much. Okay. Oh, and in the last round, we, we between rounds, we pulled it up. I wasn't crazy. There's a thing called Burger King Bundles. It, it came and went around 1987. Little Burger King burgers, not McDonald's. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Can I use this This is my favorite part of the wedding. I mean, I could just give you the whole thing. I mean, maybe here. I think, I think what it's supposed to be is don't, aren't we supposed to like wrap our arms around each other first? Yeah. And then I give this to you. No. And, and then I go like this. <laughs> then I stab you with this. Hey, put it in, hey. This is a little knife. No, you it's can, not even a real no, knife. Stop. It? Stop. Is it a real it's knife? It's so real. Let go. Let go. Let go. Okay. Let go. Let go. Oh, gosh. Prenup. <laughs> that's really good. And it's really gone. I mean, that's the thing is like, how good was it? Because I don't remember it. Did you keep a piece of your wedding cake in your freezer and eat on your first anniversary? I think we did. That's the thing. But I don't think we pulled it out. Oh, we did. We pulled it out. How was it? That's why, that's why Jesse got pregnant before we thought she should. All right, get that golden tongue. We kind of need to stay focused. Oh, here. this is easy, man. Yeah. Do you agree? 64% of the mythical beasts thought that you would like the tiny wedding cake. Yeah, better. you know. All right, that so we're going to well. stroke your mythical beast egos in Good Mythical More, all but right? But now it is time once again to celebrate 10 years of GMM. Woo, woo, woo. All right, let's watch that sneak peek of one of the episodes of Good Mythical Origins, all right? As you can see, we can't. 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 As you can see, he can't. As you can see, we can't. As you can see, but I can't. As you can see, we can't. As you can see, we can't. As you can see, we can't. I've said that a lot. That constitutes a catchphrase. You know what? If I had to, if I would have had to have guessed how many times you had said that, I would have been like, at least five.
in the first sub series we did was like a best ever. And we were talking, what's the best candy bar ever? As you can see, even as it came out, it was already wanting to be shaped. Broken. Of course, that doesn't mean you have to. Episode five, first taste test ever, had an almost, as you can see, I mean. It had an as you can see. It had half the catchphrase. That's, well, yeah, because as you can see is like a thing that people say. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Liz, I mean, I don't want to be, I don't want to be a party not, pooper, but like, I don't believe that they're phrase, connected. It's a phrase, but it's not. It's not a catch catchy. Phrase. When do you think the first time that you guys introduced a blindfold to any sort of taste test was? It had to be season one. We, we had to do it in I, season one. I don't think so. It's time for, what are we calling this? Name that meat. meat. Okay, we are now blindfolded. We did go with the bandanas. I went with a blue bandana. Yeah, and I, I, I know that this wasn't the first time we ever wore blindfolds on the show in general. I, I think, think we did that even in season one. Like first few weeks psychopath smell test. Yeah. I wore denim underwear as a blindfold, but for a taste uh, test, a blindfold yes. taste test, this was it, exotic meat. When do you guys think that you got the blindfolds that we still use today? And do you remember how we got those? We know we got them from a mythical beast. Yep. Mm -hmm. I would, I'd love for you to just edit in right now. And of course it was mythical beast. Megan Wolf from Phoenix, Arizona. Let's keep this spinning. Mm -hmm. You have a serious lack of mythical blindfold. Okay. <laughs> I like how she put that. Those bandanas, far from mythical. Oh, wow. So I wanted to help you out. Could we have known how many times no. we'd be donning and those? It's, it's evident by that clip and the way we were acting that we didn't know didn't. that the significance of what was happening. I mean, but that's the way life happens. Something's happening to you and you have no way to understand what it will come to mean. It was just like, this might be the only time we ever wear these. Okay, I am currently bibbed and blindfolded. Rhett, are you bibbed and blindfolded? I'm blindfolded and bibbed, is that oh, the same thing? Yes, it is. I actually feel like what you started with is more of a Rhett joke that asking someone if they're blindfolded is very some, it's something that I would think that, oh, oh, this is funny. Okay, my blindfold's on. Is yours? Yes, I, I'm gonna be honest with you, and this is probably not a good time to share this. I actively dislike catchphrases. I understand why the audience likes the catchphrase. As you can see, we can. No, Do you, li you don't like it? No, no, of all the catchphrases on the show, this is the best catchphrase, okay? If I find out that I didn't come up with this catchphrase, I'm gonna be pretty upset. <laughs> As you can see, we can't. So what we're gonna do is, in this round, we're gonna be presented with an item. I said it! No, hold on, did you? I said it and I said it! Woo, I'm now, so relieved. Now, play that back again. As you can see, we can't. So what we're gonna do is, in this round, we're gonna be presented with an item. Huh, what? What, yeah, you, did you say, I like that. Yes, between you and me and the internet, a lot of times you don't know how good of a joke you've just told. Until you tell me. Okay, so as you can see, uh, we can't. Uh, we're blindfolded hey. and we're gonna be presented. Uh... <laughs> okay, oh, wait, so what, wait, what's wait, going wait, on wait. there? Hey. No, so, no, so what's going on there? Hey. No, so I, I know exactly what's I going don't... on there. He's never going to not say this. That's, that's what that, yep. Hey, it's like, I'm, yeah. I'm his best <laughs> I'm friend. The, I'm in for the long I'm haul. Your, this is, I'm gonna be here for another thousand, two thousand, three thousand episodes, and this is always going to happen exactly this same way, and I'm just acknowledging and accepting the reality, which to me feels like a little death. Dink it. <laughs> yeah, see, I don't like that. I don't like, Josh, what did you do? I don't even like saying what when you say Tokyo, but I have to now. It's the least favorite part of anything that I do is me saying what every time you say Tokyo. Are you serious? Let's do a whole let's do a whole documentary on that. <laughs> and we did. Okay, so that was only like five minutes of that particular episode is twenty minutes long. You can watch the whole thing right now yeah. on the Mythical Society. You can also watch the episode where Rhett totally unpacks his feelings about the T word. Thank you. And I Thank we you. had a lot to say about it. We learned a lot. It was the first time we ever talked We've about, never talked directly about these it. traditions and uh, the myth of the mythical canon. So you may not like what you find out, but oh, I, think I think you will. You no, will. I think you will. You'll enjoy, be thoroughly you entertained. You will enjoy watching it. So sign up for first, second, or third degree over on the Mythical Society and watch them all right now. And happy ten years of good mythical morning, everybody. The celebration yeah. continues. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is.
Yo, what's up? You like my beard? It's Jack Black. I want to wish a big congrats to Rhett, Link, and the Mythical Crew on 10 years of Good Morning America. I mean, Good Mythical America. I mean, Good Mythical Morning. And guess what time it is? It's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Spin it! <laughs> well, he, I mean, wow. he'll, he'll make you happy. Yeah, he will. I Thank do, you, and Jack. I do like your beard, Jack. Thank you, Jack. Click the top link to watch us. Find out if big fruit tastes better than small fruit in Good Mythical More. And to find out where the will of mythicality is going to land. Good Mythical Origins explores the true history behind some of your favorite mythical lore. Join now to binge all episodes at mythicalsociety.com.